In 2086, two peaceful aliens journeyed to Earth, seeking our help. In return, they gave us the plans for our first hyperdrive, allowing mankind to open the doors to the stars. We have assembled a team of unique individuals to protect Earth and our allies. Courageous pioneers committed to the highest ideals of justice and dedicated to preserving law and order across the new frontier. These are the adventures of the Galaxy Rangers. Based on Kirwin, Lieutenant Pulver speaking. What's your ETA, Captain? This is Galaxy Ranger Zachary Fox. My family and I will be arriving on Kirwin with Ambassadors Waldo and Zozo in 30 minutes. Roger, Captain. Jessica, prepare for arrival. I just can't wait to meet Zozo's family. I'm going to teach them to grow a hamburger, right, Waldo? I'm more concerned with the Kirwin Defense Shield. Until that shield operates properly, your planet is in danger. Roger, Captain Fox, we've made a lot of progress. These Kiwi can just about grow anything. With the Kiwi and Yorians and humans working together, we should develop enough food stock for the entire league of planets. Over out. Here's the analysis on the new gene vegetables. You were right, Tycho. Vitamins A, C, and E. Look, Woody. Yuck! So, what is the problem? The problem is that I can't eat it. Kiwis have very sensitive taste buds, bub. Kind of tastes like shoe leather. Great. See, Kiwi? Shoes, we can't grow them. The League of Planets will benefit from our new friends from Earth. Yes? Ship approaching. 300 sectors and closing. We're on our way. The specimens are alive and undamaged. The new species called human. Their life force will be mine. <laughs> Alien vessel now. 100 sectors. Couldn't be an outlaw attack. We're two months before a food harvest. Alien vessel now. 50 sectors. Getting a visual scan. The Crown Destroyer. Ten sectors. Power up the field. But it's not fully debugged. We have no choice. Then do it. Are you a human? I'm a kiwi, you bo- 
must not harm this new species. Oh, Dorian, if you are the puny kiwis of Jaffia, your primary habitats will be destroyed. The days of the crown are numbered. The queen cannot make our League of Planets serve her against our will. We'll see about that. Dad, incoming transmission. GV, amplify the signal. Try, little sir. Humans have been taken. Proceed with extreme caution. Sir, power level's dropping. Hang on, everyone. Mayday, Mayday. This is Zachary Fox aboard the Phoenix. Hyperwave signal's jammed. Circuit overload. We're being pulled into a war. GV, disengage hyperdrive. I am programmed to warn you that could be hazardous. Just do it. Shields locked. Disengaging systems now. Good work, GV. Get me a system stats. Zach, try to find out where we are. Everyone all right back here? Just shaking up. Dry burnout. Waldo, nice job. But I tested this unit myself. I don't recognize any of these star clusters. Do you, GV? I'm working on it, Toots. One thing's for sure. We're not where we're supposed to be. Hmm. Damage is not too bad. Zach, any luck on our location coordinates? We're somewhere in Sector H81. We've overshot Kerwin by a hundred light years. Yes, it appears we have company. This wasn't any accident. It's another spaceship headed right for us. Steady as she goes, mateys. Steady, mateys. Frequencies from human space, Captain. Ha ha ha. Humans from the soul system. Gunner, contact the Queen of the Crown. The kid has obtained some human specimens from the Earth. Away, first wave! Sir, scans reveal 20 laser cannons on outlaw vessel. Phoenix armament is non-operational. We have a weapon. We can overload our communications laser and use it as a light cannon. That may work as long as they stay in close range. If they don't blow us to microbits first, that's an outlaw ship. Outlaws? Daddy, I'm frightened. Easy, everyone. Jesse, see if you can feed a little more oxygen in here. Zach, get to work on the laser. Right, Dad. GV, open hailing frequencies. This is the Galaxy Ranger vessel Phoenix, Zachary Fox in command. We are on a peaceful mission to the planet Kirwan. Any act of aggression on your part will be considered an act of war. Greetings, humans. I am Captain Kidd, and now that we've met, you are my prisoners. You have no claim against us. Now let us make repairs, and we'll leave this area immediately. Otherwise, we'll blow your chips out. <laughs> what a plucky group. Gunner, what shape are they in? I can't read their blasted alien codes, Captain. Scan that computer, disrupt their system. Sir, I feel a rather odd tickle along my circuitry. <laughs> their shields are disrupting GV sensors. That's not the shielding. They're using a brain probe. <gasps> oh, no. <gasps> I'll try some manual filters. Thank you, little. That's better. I am concerned, Waldo. The Queen surely must know of our alliance with Earth. We are all in grave danger, I believe. Zack, get me a visual scan. We've got to delay them long enough to jump out of here. Enhanced scan of the nose pod shows control lines running just beneath the hull. What about hitting them right there, GV? A hit there might disengage power to their control system. GV, lock coordinates. Yes. <coughs> Coordinate. <coughs> GV, what was that? Sir, I'm 
faulty. Sir. They've secured tow lines. I'm going out. Get ready. As soon as I cut the lines, we'll make a run for it. Zack, be careful. Sir, I've overloaded my circuits. I... This hasn't been my day, Sir Oid. I was much happier running your home systems. Almost through the lines. Stand by engines. Zack, there's something moving out there. They're getting closer. Zack, get out of there! To the Iron Falcon. Who are you, human? I'm a Galaxy Ranger, assigned to protect an alliance with the Andorians and the Kiwi. Galaxy what? I laugh. I scoff, human. You're not in your safe little solar system anymore. Your ship is now my ship, and I'm handing you over to the Queen's Slaver Lords. How do you like outer space so far? <laughs> Let my ship go, and my planet will reward you well. Four humans are worth much more to the Queen of the Crown. Ah. Uh. Ah. Approaching pirate vessel, my queen. Prepare to pick up the specimens. You three must blast out of here. We'll rescue Zachary. We'll need more life cans. Prime the drive. I'll go get them. Coast is clear. Come on, Waldo. GV, descramble life support. <laughs> GV, what's the matter? Open the lock. It seems to be stuck. Come on, GV. Hurry up. I'm trying. Look what I found. Zack, Jesse, go now. Mom, are you all right? Answer us. GV, blast off. <laughs> Interject one concept at this moment. <laughs> Doors open, sir, ma'am. Transmission for Crown Destroyer, sir. This will make the kid famous. Let's have it. Captain, you have something of interest for me? Yes, your nothingness. I am but a humble servant of the crown and so forth. Humans. From Earth, I have four of them. Psst, sir, the two little ones have escaped and the adult female is still inside. You buffoon. Send someone in there to get it. We did. Meat face. Meat face? Did you say something, Captain? <laughs> Your Lordness, we have at least two healthy humans. I want them alive and undamaged. If the Queen insists, the human ship will make fine booty. That ship carries a hyperdrive of Andorian design. It will be confiscated. I want my booty. Booty! In here. So far, so good. Shush. Ow, 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 ow. 
Someone must know how to turn this thing off. Excuse me, sir. What? Which button turns off the force field? The red one. Who are you? My name is Zozo, and this is my friend Waldo. Hello. Why, you... <laughs> Barbarians, no menace. To the shuttle! Zozo to GV, we're coming in! Sir, the humans have escaped their cell! There is an Andorian and a Kiwi aboard! I'll get someone in there! Something, anything. Looking at the shuttle bay. Lifeboat away. Hey, it's our own shuttle. Going to happen to you, Captain? Uh, no, Pookie. I am in control of the situation now. <laughs> then you, Captain Kid, are a plucked Blitzke. Hey, what else could go wrong? <laughs> These humans are disastrous. Zozo and Waldo, you will serve your queen. I have you now. <laughs> I've changed my mind, human. I'll take your offer. Gunner, try to capture the human ship. I'm holding your companion. We'll meet again, Galaxy Ranger, and we'll do some business. Captain Fox, based on your report, the Board of Leaders has approved your special team of Galaxy Rangers. Each will utilize the new Series 5 brain implant. When charged, the microcircuitry in your badge will trigger this implant. Each of you has unique abilities which will be amplified in extraordinary ways. Zachary Fox, your implant will turn your advanced bionics into a powerful weapon. I'm ready. My wife, I've got to bring her back home. Doc Hartford. Yeah, I am ready. Your implant will make you a computer wizard, conjuring fantastic computer programs. Nico. Your implant will strengthen your psychic senses. The human race faces grave dangers from beyond the stars. Shane Gooseman, your implant will trigger advanced internal biodefenses that will make you nearly invincible. Stand by for action. Our time has come.
Zachary? Sir? The implant is still experimental, but your team is the best chance we've got. We are the only chance. Dad! We just heard. You're leading a new team of rangers. We're going back out. Don't worry. I'm going to bring her home. <laughs> Sir, we're with you all the way. Gentlemen and delegates of the Bureau of Extraterrestrial Affairs, Tactical Commander Owen Nagata from the World Federation Board of Leaders will brief us. That's Commander Nagata? His brain unit his body died years ago. We have received word from the outlaw planet of Tortuna. Captain Kidd will exchange information on the missing humans for a trade alliance with us. Commander Walsh, you will send your new team of Galaxy Rangers. The Queen of the Crown is intent on capturing humans. We've got to find out why. Good luck, team. The Queen won't be expecting the Galaxy Rangers. Zachary Fox, the Galaxy Rangers are go. <laughs> Turn. Remember, one hour. If you don't hear from us, you'll take off and contact Beta. These babies sure are some beautiful machines. But Voyager's still got a few bugs to work out, so I'll take her. Hey, Trident. Goose, my friend, we will ride again. Hello, Voyager. Hello. What is your name? I'm Walter. Hello, Wilbur. Rangers, let's ride. You watch yourselves. Rangers, ho! Be careful. This is the place, town 
of Sarien. It's quiet. Too quiet. <laughs> One of us stays here. Well, how about Wilbur? Walter! <laughs> Galaxy Rangers, I don't want no trouble here. Seems to me you do a pretty good job of attracting it. Since when do you serve rangers? We're looking for Captain Kidd. You heard of him? Maybe yes, maybe no. I gob on rangers. Hey, pal. I ain't talking to you, so shut your face. Uh... Maybe yes. Our hoochie, mateys. Good show. You humans are rather surprising. Aha. A 40 PT chip. How's that? <laughs> that tickles, Wilbur. Zachary, my human friend, you have some interesting associates. Where's my wife? Where's your ship and your crew? Uh, well, a small problem came up. What's that? This. You guys, hurry up. Oh, wait for me. Hey, don't leave me. The queen sent me up to lure you here. I know where the humans are. Thousand crowns for their capture. Coming, Waldo, Zozo, prepare for liftoff. Rangers, we copy. I'll hold them off, but please hurry. was fun, but I'll call my ship now if you don't mind. You in there. Zozo, watch him. A kiwi? <laughs> Strap down and shut your plitz fife. Hoot. Lifting off. Goose, we're right behind you. Right. We're out of here. Good work, team. Now, kid, where are the humans? All right. Don't get so uppity. That asteroid belt is the Queen's graveyard. There are no habitable planets there. I know that. The Queen has them in one of the asteroids. Which one? How should I know? The data disk came in a fuel train. All I know is, if that's where they are, that's where I don't want to be. That's where we're going. But there are thousands of asteroids. Nico, can you find it? Not from here. Maybe once we're in the belt. We're going inside. Let's do it. Hang on. We had to dive close to 
to avoid detection. Waldo, keep those deflectors up. You can't be serious. <laughs> we'll find them. We'll never survive! The good news is we survived the small asteroids. Degrees starward, GV. Course plotted. I sense a very strong psychic energy field. Give me your hand. Okay. I've got to locate the exact source of that vision. I know Eliza is still alive. The spirit of the heart never dies. There. Eliza is there. Hey, this rock's hollow. Energy readings indicate a massive power source. Oh, I don't like the looks of this. Prepare for link-up, GV. Scans indicate vertical tubes in the asteroid. I suggest they are elevators. Doc, you got those jammers on? We're jamming, babe. We've got company. We're not the only ones interested in that asteroid. Crown destroyers have not moved. I don't think they've noticed us. Keep me posted. Yes, sir. I'll keep my eye open. Let's go, kid. Depressurizing in three minutes. Oh, it's surely you jest. I have no spacesuit. Besides, I don't like graveyards. Two minutes to vacuum. You better hope this fits. <laughs> Sir, Crown Destroyers have powered up and are departing. All right, let's move out. Come on, move it, kid. I can't space walk. Hello. This is the Imperial Phone Company. Our reports show you owe a backlog of bills. Um, the check's in the mail. I'm sorry, your time is up. Please deposit one quartag. You humans are crazy. Outer space will never be the same. Up and Adam, get in there and open the lock. Radio! Mechanism disabled! That's my little program. How convenient air. We've arrived. What's going on around here? Oh, Lordy. Hmm. A control pad. Watch this. This should do something. Are they dead? They seem to be in some kind of stasis. What happened? Check this out. I came to see the humans, not a Gurk. This is the last of the Gurkins the humans will follow. The humans are so much stronger. Be quick! It takes many gherkins to make just one slaver lord. Their life force is weak compared to the new specimens. The humans. The queen is paying top dollar for humans. I didn't know why until now. Dog. What? Everyone, all right? 
Okay. Uh, welcome, Galaxy Rangers. To my Psycho Crypt. It was inevitable that humans would acquire the hyperdrive from my enemies. But your destiny is to serve the Queen of the Crown. I rule a mighty and vast empire. Your species will provide strong slaver lords to become my eyes and ears throughout my domain. You've fallen right into my trap, Galaxy Rangers. <laughs> I know all about you, Ranger Zachary Fox. What have you done to her? My slaver is feeding on her psychic energy. Behold! I didn't know what was happening. She's not dead, right, Queenie? She is linked to my creation. Eliza Fox's life force can be fully returned only if the Psycho Crystal on the Slaver Lord is joined to that other half worn by the human. You will provide me the most powerful Slaver Lords ever created. I'd like a second opinion. Captain, your Thunderbolt. Can you tap? You can do it, Zack. And I will know where you are, and I will have you. Zack, removing the crystal could kill her. We've got to get her back to Beta. Please hurry, sir. Crown fighters are approaching. I'll hold them while you lift off. Let's go, Alma. Firing clusters. gathered not for an ending but for a beginning until our psycho crystal is found eliza fox still is linked to the queen and must be put in stasis i'll find her psycho crystal if it takes the rest of my life 
The unknown lies before us, but the League of Planets has new hope. With our alien friends, the Galaxy Rangers will bring justice to this unchained wilderness and freedom to the new frontier. Tortuna. It always gives me a bad feeling coming to this outlaw planet. Tortuna City. 50 clicks due south of here, through Dead Man's Desert. We have to get in, find Geezy the Pedulant, and get out with the Memory Bird before the Queen discovers it was stolen. Memory birds? Why doesn't the queen just use computer modules like everyone else? She does, but she stores her priceless data in those birds. I shall maintain all ship systems. Good luck, team. Let's mount up and head them out. I dig these wild birds. Zangwill peddlers like to create an effect. The Queen keeps a sizable force in Tortuna City. We can't just walk in as rangers. We may not walk out as rangers either. I can almost feel my life force being drained into one of the Queen's psycho crystals. Well, I'm sure you'd make the list of best dress slaver lords. Yeah? Well, Gooseman, I hear she wants to have you stuffed and mounted. She's gonna have to catch me first. With the bounty she's put on humans, I don't see why this geezy wouldn't just hand us over to the queen. He might. Dead Man's Desert sure has some strange formations. All this was suburbs once. Millions of Tortunans lived here. What happened to them? The queen came. There's still something around, picking up several different life form readings from over that ridge. These badlands are full of savages. And they're well armed. Blaster fire. Advance to the ridge line. Set your weapons on stun. Just what we needed. A small battle. Those people are in trouble. Galaxy Rangers, ho! Take it easy. I am not a Zangwill. Not a Zangwill? Then why are you dressed as a Zangwill? I'll explain some other time. And what do we have here? Gherkins. Oh no! Zangwill slavers have captured us. We shouldn't have trusted the Pedulans. All right, Zangwills, drop your weapons! 
I've heard that the Queen tortures petulant smugglers by wringing their noses. Ah, don't even say such things! We're not Zangwills. We're looking for another petulant by the name of Geezy. Geezy? By the great trunk, there's a petulant to make us all proud. A slippery wheeler dealer he is. Where can he be found? By the Hot Stars Bar and Grill. Where's that? On Doom Street, in the Great Dome. Company coming. We must be off. Thanks for your help, whoever you are. <laughs> Let's move out. Strangers. Crown agents. Stay alert, everyone. Zang will say, let's see your entry permit. I'm sorry, Sergeant. We were forced to make a crash landing out in the Badlands. Landing off field is a major crime, mister. Say, these are the best looking horses I've ever seen. Sergeant, I'm sure there must be something we could do. Attempted to bribe an officer of the Crown is punishable by death, sentenced to be carried out immediately. Sounds fair. Yeah, yeah, you Zangwills are all the same. Six hundred crowns and we'll forget we ever saw you. Six hundred crowns? Well, well, you have the ears. Zachary, my captain, why don't you give the sergeant what he asked for? Welcome to Tortuna City. You never saw a horse before? What are we, flumbubs or something? We park stuff for a living, Jumbo. But we've never seen robo steeds like these. Aren't the spaceports a little close to your dome? The queen must feel safe. Thanks be to the, the queen. queen. Spy droids. The queen monitors the whole city. Let's move out. This is Doom Street. Over here. Looks like my kind of place. Oh, nurse! Nurse! Over here! Well, well, if it isn't Geezy the Pedulant, can I expect your usual magnificent tip? Explain why I should leave a tip for a robot! Huh? A robot's gotta make a decent living too, you know. Besides, I'm working my way through drama school. Uh-oh. Pete's on Hooterhead. <laughs> Keep quiet, stupid bird! The Queen's gonna huh? tweak you good, you hoser. Galaxy Rangers will finally take you away! I've heard that before. This looks like as good an opportunity as any to introduce ourselves. Hold on, Captain. You hand over the bird. Why? <laughs> Come on, Gizzy. You're coming with us. That way out. Let's 
See this bird. Give me back my memory bird. You Sangwills will never get away with robbing a loyal pigeonant. I thought we were saving your hive. Easy, we're the Galaxy Rangers. Galaxy Rangers? Don't say such dreadful words. This is Tortuna City. Nest of spies. You never know what might be listening to you. Stay right where you are. This way! You scrawny things are the hummings the queen is so excited about? Humans, Geezy. Humans. Queen offers big rewards for hummings, they say. I wonder what reward the queen might give for one of her memory birds. Okay, Geezy. We're prepared to offer 500 crowns for the memory bird. There's the bird. Now give me my crowns. Manufacturer's warning. I am not an edible bird. Do not fold, bend, spindle, fry, or roast. Keep quiet. You are a complete dip switch. Thanks. This bird looks pretty brainless. Let me study this thing. This won't hurt a bit. Say ah. Nobody move. Hey, go easy on the threads, my man. Silence, Galaxy Ranger. I wonder what that sneaky old pendulum is doing with a bunch of Galaxy Rangers and the Queen's missing memory bird. <laughs> oh boy, I can see you folks are from out of town. Quiet, you little... <laughs> What's the problem, officers? Get your heads up, we're taking you in for routine torture. Not this time. <laughs> Hey, where'd that pedulant go? There's something funny about this bird. Is this the Queen's memory bird? Well, I ain't the Easter Rabbit. Scrambled chips. Are you the Queen's memory bird? Uh, yes. I am one of many birds from the Royal Palace. Simple bubblehead memory. We've been had. Professor Bubblehead to you. You mean there's another bird? Geezy has it. Where? Oh, please, please, take me with you. What do you say, fellas? If the queen catches me, my chips are going to be wiped. Oh. All right. Now, where's Geezy? Beats me. This is the place, I'm telling you. It's really scary, kids. Any sign of life here? I've got something. Down there. Stay together. Anyone afraid of the dark? Really? Hey, wait up! I hear something. Don't harm us! Gherkins! What are you folks doing here? We are the last survivors of our race. The Queen has destroyed our world. How do you come to be here? The Pedulance brought us. Look, it's the Zangwills I told you about. They saved us. Who are you? You are not really Zangwills. We are the Galaxy Rangers. Ah, the Galaxy Rangers. Humans, too, are fugitives from the Queen's Psycho Crypt. Come take shelter with us. Thanks for the offer, but we're looking for Geezy. You must not harm him. He is our only way out. Oh, we won't necessarily do him any harm. For this vile petulant, you will suffer most horribly. You shall be disintegrated, exterminated, annihilated, eviscerate, violate, mash potatoes! You are driving me crazy, stupid bird! Huh? I do my best! Face it, Bagelby. The Queen always liked me the best. Your chips will be wiped all over the galaxy. We meet again, Geezy. Wait, 
It's not what you think. I knew you'd track me here. This is the one you want. I don't know if I can trust you. You have to. There's no time. We must get these gherkins off planet. Your life forces will be drained into psycho crystals. Tiny drummers will pound upon your skulls. So that's the memory bird we're after. Yeah, that's it, that's it. You will be taken henceforth to an extremely dark place and walled into a pit. Charming little fellow, isn't it? How's cue ball going to get anything out of that? Hey, leave that to the computer department, Mr. Muscle Master. We'll sort out its chips and dump the contents in no time. Electronic pain inducement for seven weeks. Can we at least turn off that noise? <laughs> Please! The doctor will operate. Flash vaporization. How disgusting! Yeah! Stop it, or we're all dead! Please, we must get the gurkins to my ship at once! Daring pendulots built this tunnel. We have saved many refugees like these poor gherkins. Now the queen will know where to look for it. The memory bird will have told her everything. Including the fact that the galaxy rangers are here. <laughs> Including just that fact, my dear. Seize them! Thanks, Nico. Come on, Doc. Let's create a diversion. Yo! Right behind you, my goose man. I love the control room with the view. Everyone, out. An army of crown agents coming out of the dome. We need a little of the doctor's magic. Pathfinder, up and at him. Take over the defense program. Righto, Doc! Fire control is at your command! Controls are responding, but we'll need something extra to buy us a little time. Doctor will operate. How about we blow the fuel dumps? Go to it, Doc, while I hone the old shooting skills. Doc, hurry it up! Accessing the passcodes now. Okay, I'm doing it. Always a pleasure doing business with you, my goose man. Head for the horses. He's on his own. Bye. 
back easy and take care of those gherkins. Farewell, Galaxy Rangers. We will spread the news of your courage far and wide. Okay, little fella. Let's see what you've got. Guess what, Doc? What? I know the secret of the universe. Wow, what is it? Can't tell you, it's a secret. This is one nutty bird. Boy, just a happy bubblehead. Looks like you're making solid progress there, Doc. raid was in the sorcerer system looking for star stones he's a mean one sure you can handle this transfer by yourself i don't want to attract attention word has it macross buried star stones and his gang's just waiting for him until we get to beta it's just gonna be him and me Which hole you throw me in? I'll find a way out. A galaxy ranger. I'm taking you to Earth to stand trial. Hmm. Coming for to carry me home. Ranger Goose Minnie's all yours. Let's go. Nice ship, Ranger boy. Good cruising range, I'll bet. Activating security locks. You are clear for takeoff, Ranger Guzman. Roger. You ain't much for words, are you? Unauthorized access is forbidden. Please keep your hands to yourself. Look, pal. Don't touch anything else. Don't move without me telling you to. If you so much as breathe the wrong way, you're dead. Now let's have a pleasant flight, shall we? <laughs> Join the party, boys. How many? Can't tell. They're using sonic jammers. Ah, I'd like to see what this baby can do. She flying, but you just don't understand what's happening, Ranger boy. Wasn't easy getting no star stones. The sorcerer system was real bad, but I hear those stones have all kinds of powers. Yeah, I'll bet just about every outlaw in the galaxy is looking for me. For my treasure, that is, and they'll find us. They're gonna have a tough time tracking us in hyperspace. You're right, Ranger boy. Danger. 
Drive on the track. Drive red line. Ten seconds to detonation. <laughs> Elma, disengage drive. Elma, status. Drive forward. Submarine engine malfunction. Shields malfunction. Elma, what's our location? Quadrant 47. The empty zone. I ought to blow you away right here. You're one of those Series 5 Rangers, aren't you? Shut up. Yeah, I heard about you. Fuel range. Fifteen light years. Aw, oh, too bad our little flight's cut short. We can reach the frontier planet of Ozark. Okay, lock in coordinates. <laughs> Set your ship down and these coordinates are beat blasted. Coordinates flying. Take us down. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice choice. <laughs> Elma, hold those shields. Shields are out. Guidance malfunction. Hang in there, baby. Releasing drive engine. My friend, it's good to see you. What has happened? Elma's gone. We're stranded on the frontier planet Ozark. We must ride. We'll head for cover until we can contact Beta. Go, Triton! <laughs>
you are. This man, he attacked me. Shoot him. Shut up and stand still. Who are you? I'm a galaxy ranger. This charming fellow's a wanted criminal. Ha! Ha! I said shut up, Mushhead. I've never seen anything so beautiful. His name's Triton. He belonged to you? That's right. He's lying. He stole that horse from me. Oh, really? Ride him. Uh, you don't believe me? You heard me. Ride him. Horses don't lie. Give me that pea shooter. <laughs> Thanks, mister. Shane Gooseman. My friends call me Goose. So that's how they found us. My name is Annie. We don't get too many strangers around these parts. We uh, just dropped in. Do you have family near here? My people live about five miles from here. Annie, this man is a dangerous criminal, and I have to get him to Earth. Earth? He was carrying a tracer. His gang is not far from here. If they find your people, there could be trouble. We have blasters. I'm afraid this gang's got a few bigger blasters. I better get home. Elder Gabriel has a transmitter. I must call my people. They'll bring help. This is Bell Star. Well, all right, Annie. Let's get going. Planets can bring technology, medicine, education. That is good. Yes. I like it when you smile. Technology is a double-edged sword. It can help things, or it can destroy things. I don't understand. You should know all about technology, Ranger Boy. I was created by technology, born by gene experiments. But you wouldn't destroy anything, Goose. Technology can be a powerful weapon. The League can teach your people. Help them. There's always room for new friends. Some new friends. Unarmed. Annie, thank goodness you're all right. But, Father, he's our friend. That one is a criminal. Hush up, girl. You don't know what you're saying. Howdy, Patch. Across. Together again. You and your Galaxy Ranger have given us some chase. How can you be so blind after he saved Ezrak? The Ranger is my friend. Is this how we face our future? Like cowards? Bad. Ranger's mine. He comes with us. Chains reverse, Ranger boy. And no more tricks either. Let's go. No. You can't march in here and take what you want. This is our town. Our planet. Annie. No. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Not a good idea, old man. You're lucky we left you part of this town. No! Goose! A destiny is not a matter of chance. It's a matter of choice. There it is. Beyond the North Fork. for nothing. I'm tired of this. Where is the loot, across? We went to a lot of trouble smuggling that transceiver chip into your cell. Maybe you don't want to share this loot. I swear, the Star Stones are here! Woo, doggy! I found it! I told you they were here! You was right! Let's get it out! You're going to be mighty disappointed. Who asked you? What do you mean, Ranger? Come on, Macross. You might as well fess up to your boys here. What's he talking about? Nothing! Some Ranger trick. I'll wager you'll find nothing worth much in that chest. I like playing games. You're in no position to make bets, Ranger boy. Afraid you'll lose? It sure would be bad for Macross here if we come up zip. If the Star Stones aren't here, then uh, your boys let me go. <laughs> <laughs> huh? You've got any reason to doubt this bet? Uh. Let's find out. <laughs> What I tell you, boys? Uh, oh. What do you say now, Ranger Boy? I do my homework. <laughs> Star stones evaporate when exposed to direct sunlight. You in big trouble, boy. Mm. Right. Everyone, stay where you are. I got you now. Drop your gun. Easy now. We're gonna leave real fast, right? Nobody will get hurt. Let's go, boys. Let's go, man. Power. Forget it, Macross. You lose. Goose. I use Triton's control chip. He led us to you. Good girl, Annie. Annie's right. Times are changing. If we are to protect our future, we need contact with the Outworlders. The League of Planets will welcome you. Let's get this sidewinder to Earth! So many things to learn. You will help your people. Will I see you again? I'll return someday. Until we meet again. Who was that man, Annie? I didn't even get a chance to thank him. A galaxy ranger. A friend. Go, go, go.
Put those weapons away. We want to take this guy by surprise. With that money, we can get a whole fleet of Andorian hyperdrives. What the? Someone at the door, Benbot. I said put it away. Sorry, Chugga. Let's get down to business. Get set. Veggie man. Mm, yeah, you got the stuff. Well, if you're buying, we're selling. See? Super Trooper Juice. Straight from the World Federation DNA Labs. There ain't but a handful left in known space. Now, Veggie Man, let's see your cash. Stand still! What's the matter with you? Hey, what are you hiding? Ugh. What is that? Uh, <laughs> Hi there. Where's the money? You see, well, that is, we never carry cash. We always leave home without it. That's too bad for you. Get rid of them. There. <laughs> May we come in? Ah, it's a trap! What kept you? We're after the overboss. You'll get nothing from us. Round him up. Ow. I gotta dump the evidence. Ooh. Hold it right there. It's gonna blow! Maybe I can save something. Do your stuff, Pathfinder. Okie doke, Doc. Entering the system. Ooh. I'm in. Looking for any data in particular? Access any codes for the Overboss. Hurry! Doc, there's no time! Everybody out! How about this stuff? Grab what you can! Doc, come on! Pathfinder, we're leaving. Suits me fine! That pretty close, Doc. We want over, boss, don't we? We could try my method. Put him down, Goose. Relax. I think I've got a way to get to Overboss. Uh-oh. Another stroke of the doctor's genius? Amazing, isn't it? I just hope Commander Walsh buys it. Commander, another call from Senator Gans. All right, put her on. The Super Trooper program ended years ago, but smuggling of those illegal DNA samples could spell the end of the League of Planets. I assure you, we have several leads on the Overboss. We'll get him. I'm putting you and your Galaxy Rangers on notice, Walsh. The board is ready to chop heads on this one. Okay, let's hear it. Here's what Pathfinder got out of that data droid. We know the Overboss operates out of Tortuna. He learned the Queen of the Crown wants the Federation's only sample of Super Trooper juice. This stolen sample is on the way to her empire now. The Super Trooper juice would allow the replication of mutant armies. The Overboss has hired Brappo to hijack the shipment for him. All we have to do is hijack the shipment first and use the samples to get to Overboss. He wants them so badly, he'll have to deal with us. We prevent the Queen from obtaining the Super Trooper DNA, plus we trap Overboss. Good show! The Crown ship will stop to refuel at that base. So the Queen thinks. Dozo, 
You and Waldo would endanger our cover. You're out of this one. We reluctantly concur, Commander. Zachary, you'll need a juice detector from Longshot. Right, sir. The future of the League of Planets may be in your hands. Doc and Nico will take care of the refueling station. I'll go for the Super Trooper juice with the goose. The Queen has bought top priority for her ships. Her cargo ship is to be refueled as soon as it arrives. Yes, sir. Tripwire, go make sure all the alarms are deactivated. Firefly, short out the internal weapon systems. Gotcha, Doc! A manual lie. Talk about primitive. I thought the doctor could fix anything. Any suggestion? Yes, step aside. This feels about right. You may applaud. First, let's knock out the beacon. Sure this'll work? It'll overload fast, but it'll last long enough. There's Doc's signal. Okay, we're in business. Let's get our ship into position. Captain, this beacon doesn't match with sector profiles. Probably getting some gravitational lensing. Maintain your approach on the beacon. Yes, sir. When the crown ship comes out, we have to be in the right spot. You worry too much. Ready to go to sunlight. Proceed. What is happening? We're in the middle of a planetary ring. Go to full shields. When you see an opening, take it. Just watch me. Shields are failing. Stop engines. Emergency power to the shields. Now for some light exercise. appreciates our trouble. This way. The juice is just ahead. They must be getting ready to offload it onto a destroyer. Galaxy Rangers, alert security. All right. 
My helmet's never gonna be the same. Let's move on. Intruders detected on deck 7 1 in damage face suit. Be compress that area now. They're blowing the atmosphere. I'll stay and slow them down. You get the juice out of here. Don't give me that. I can get along without one, I think. Goose, you don't know whether you do it while there's still time. Come on, little implant. Goose! Seize the Ranger vessel and put us back on course. The Ranger ship has just powered up. Welcome back. Thanks, buddy. What's next? We rendezvous with Doc and Nico on Tortuna. They're putting out the bait now. Sir, the Queen of the Crown demands to know what's happened. Oi. Fortuna Executive Placement Agency. This is it. What do you two want? Some directions, Brappo. Got a juicy tidbit for the overboss. Uh-huh. Those two must be them. Go to this location outside town. Overboss will be waiting. Tell him I'll be expecting my commission. Thanks, handsome. They'll be there soon, Overboss. But I smell a trick of some kind. Then they'll find out I have a trick for them. Uh-oh. Hold it right there, uglies. Who you calling uglies? Ha! 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 Now we've got you. Somebody here call for a cab? You're late! We've got the goods. And a meeting with the overboss. Or his thugs. Let's go wrap this thing up. Sorry, I became a Galaxy Ranger. Reason number 62. Can't this thing go any faster, Goose? Nah, but I get great mileage. Here we go. Turn left. Go 
Jesus, man. You are a maniac! Switching in jumper jets. Get ready. Where's my pulse? I used to have a pulse! I'm turning blue! You don't look bluish. Loose get set for another barrel roll. Ready. If there are no further objections, let's go get over, boss. Grappo sent us. Lifeline, go earn your supper and find Overboss. Yo, Doc! Allow me to introduce the Overboss! <gasps> mm, how much for the Super Trooper juice? We want three million crowns in cash. Take it or leave it. And if I refuse? Last chance, Overboss. Very well. A deal. Well now, aren't you being cooperative? Too cooperative. Well, Doc? Lifeline, come to me. Check out this life form ID, Doc. You guessed it, Zachary. He's not over, boss. The orders are coming from him. You're not as clever as you thought. Take them. I wouldn't do that. This is a neutron bomb. <laughs> you fool! My men are fanatically loyal! Oh, come back here! I command you to take that prisoner! If you shoot, I release this and we all go. Well, who wants to buy it? Hey, what's your hurry? Well, Senator Gans. You sure know how to throw a fundraiser, Senator. You can't prove a thing. I was, I was merely conducting my own investigation. Oh, you can swear out a confession at Beta, Senator. And if I don't? Tortuna's non-leave. We'll have to leave you here. Leave? Leave me on Tortuna? Let's see. The Queen's after you. You probably owe Brappo money. And the competition will know who you are. No, you win. Just, just don't let them get me. Well, naturally, Senator. After all, if we have to, we can always smuggle you out. <laughs> Cuffer.
don't stop shooting till everyone's gone. Oh no. Mayday, Mayday, this is Audra Miles calling Beta. Oh, darn. Turn it down so they won't come back. Okay, let's get our equipment. Here we are, two experienced Galaxy Rangers, ready for another adventure on an unknown world. Strictly routine. I'm sure Audra won't agree. Audra has studied Bisti Finoki for six months, and Beta needs a report. And I'm sure we can handle anything that comes up. Where is everybody? They must have had some party here last night. What's all that buzzing? Local insects. Cue Ball's new sonic insect repeller. <laughs> that works well. Turn that off. Brimdy, Brimdy. Mistwalker says that frequency attracts the insects. Dr. Audra Miles, I presume? Yes, and this is Mistwalker. Are we glad to see you? Bim, bim, bim. I'm Zachary Fox. He's Zozo. What happened? Offworlders attacked. These poor, helpless people couldn't defend themselves. Why didn't you beam a mayday? The wildlife eats machinery. And everything with audible vibrations, like weapons or commo units. Hands off! Bubs! Some very ferocious beasts hang out here in Finoki, and they home in on the vibrations. Hey, Zack, these folks know a class act when they see one. They're wondering how you taste. <laughs> Don't worry, that's pest repellent, not barbecue sauce. Ha, 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 ha. Huh? Hey! Now that's funny. Hey, wait! Come back! We have to plan strategy! Where's she going? To find the off-worlders. These natives don't have a chance against off-worlders. Hey, wait up, guys! I've only got kiwi legs! Ranger Survival Manual Rule Number One. Help! 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 Bozo. Ah My ears! Watch it, bird brain! Look, you two. We are the guests here. Let's hold up. I hear something. Bimba Pinna. I thought I said that. They're the ones who fired on us and burned the village. What do they want? Get those machines moving. That's the Black Hole Gang! Guy bug. Let's find those star stones and get off this stagnant mud hole of a planet. There's Macross himself. They're looking for star stones. Audra, do your friends have any of them? I've never seen any. These are primitive people. They wouldn't know what star stones are. I thought you said machinery and weapons broke down in Bisti Finoki. They must have some kind of electronic shield. This is more serious than I thought. We're going to the ship to call for backup. We've got to get these natives out of here before... Hey, wait! Come back here! Too late. Nobody move. Uh, 
Hey, the night of the back. Stand back. I'll stop them. Yo. Something must be wrong with the bionic circuitry. Galaxy Rangers! Get them! Beep, beep, pop. Let's get out of here! Ah! Huh? Oh. Wait, Rangy One's this way, isn't it? I thought it was that way. Stop arguing and come on! Get out, varmints. All right. I guess we take the local route. By the way, your friend is crazy. You're not very well prepared yourself. We drop by for a friendly visit, not a war. Yeah. Let's keep moving. Drop to. What's she doing now? Get back under cover. No, move it, Captain. Get her, boys! I told you no shooting. How were you two chosen for this mission anyway? Alphabetical order. I wish they'd started at the other end of the alphabet. Nico would know what to do. And what about these poor, helpless people you've been studying? I'm not. Watch out for the fight! Get us out of here! Those vines won't hold them for long. What was that, an incantation? She said just add water. Reverse thrust, dummy! Going on. Get out and push. Ugh. I'm beginning to think this was a bad idea. Audrey, you didn't tell us Miss Walker had a green thumb. I thought she was just a sweet old grandmother. Grandmother or the big bad wolf? I think I have it working now. That did something. What's going on? We haven't won yet. This is no time to celebrate. We gotta get those rangers before they blow the whistle on us.
Zachary, do you hear something? Planet Crusher. Audra, tell your witch doctor to watch a real magician at work. Now what? Bumpley Wigwam. She says sometimes the magic doesn't work. Come on, magic man. Maybe my implant charges low. Quicksand! That's what my heart feels like right now. Hindi ball? Mm-hmm. She says we have to swim. Tell Mistwalker that while I have the greatest respect for her skill, I entertain serious doubts about her sanity. Don't cough. She says to suit yourself. She will perform the proper rituals over your bones. Beck! What now, magic man? Hey. Here's where I learned the Finoki crawl. It's a good thing my expense account includes cleaning bills. <laughs> Take us across! A planet crusher named the Titanic. Now let's get out of here. Blast them! Throw those vines and light branches onto the quicksand and crawl in your bellies. Captain, come on. Dim dim. Great, we can cross the river on those logs. Mistwalker says to wait. No time to waste. Pinhead. Thanks, Mist Walker. Now what? Mist Walker can put some of them to sleep, but not this many. She wants to know if you can tune your magic mosquito wand to her hum. I'll try. Got him now, boys. Rangers, I'll get you. And still, sir, use you for a feather duster. Do we wake those sleeping beauties? so long. She says she didn't want to take unfair advantage. <laughs> oh. Dumpy, dumpy. Hey, wait for us. There must be an easier way to make a living. Yeah, holographing hurricanes from a glider kite.
It's a hunting lure. A swamp deer's distress call. Ah! What is that? A horned harrower. Brilliant. Brilliant, my ocular organ. Mistwalker's demented. The distress call attracts predators. Move it. We're as tasty as the black hole gang. My mother didn't raise her little kiwi to be an hors d'oeuvre. Come on. Beep up, beep up, beep up. Dim dip wood cheese. She says to follow exactly in her footsteps. We're almost there. Where? Light years of this place. Get me out! Help! Well, I guess we've got a full load for the trip home. There goes Macross. But at least he'll know better than to come back here. Move it. Home. I thought we were miles from here. We make magic circle. Beginning, end, all same. You understood our language the whole time. I tried to teach her, but she didn't seem to catch on. I'm the one who didn't catch on. We'll need backup. Mistwalker, can you fix this? Music to soothe the savage yeast. Can you help us find a safe frequency? Yes. Why didn't you tell me you could fix things? Oh, one who asks many questions. You never asked me that. Audra's right about one thing, Zozo. These people don't have star stones. Hooey! My people will bring in the other dimbies. But how will you find them? Birds will show them to us. Audra, do you want to go back to Beta with us? No, my studies here are just beginning. I have a lot to learn. Take this and remember us. For you. Goodbye, friends. This flute doesn't work right. I guess I'll have to wait for cue ball to fix my arm. You know what Mistwalker says. What's that? Sometimes the magic doesn't always work. <laughs> <laughs> This is Galaxy Ranger Zachary Fox reporting to Beta. We have just entered the Jawbone Mining Belt, 14.3 solar hours from Reno Colony 6. 
Our shipment of lithium-25 isotopes is in program stasis, secure and stable. And, oh yes, Commander Walsh, your king is in check. Anxiously awaiting your next move, providing you have one. Fox out. Doc? Yo! I want an update on your lithium stasis program. Coming up, Chief. Program looks good, the explosives are stable. If we can stay out of trouble for a little while, we ought to get to Reno 6 in one piece. Captain, I'm picking up something moving our way. Considering its speed and trajectory, I think it could be a ship in trouble. Like I said. Goose, what do you make of it? It looks like a Type 9X rock hopper shuttlecraft. Zachary, I'm getting a Priority 3 distress signal. Crank up the audio. Mayday, Mayday, request emergency assistance, severe damage, wildfire. Wildfire? Who is Wildfire? Wildfire Carson is the wildest, wooliest desperado in the entire universe. Well, it looks as if Wildfire is about to have his flame put out for good. He's being chased by three Imperial Death Droids. Just find me a right good rock. Ah. I reckon I don't mind you boys enjoying the show. But do you think you hotshot galaxy rangers might be willing to give old wildfire a hand with these mechanical killers? is if you're not too busy watching me getting blasted out of Doc, get me an update on Cody Wildfire Carson. See if he's still wanted by every authority in the galaxy. Wanted or not, Captain, the man needs our help. I'm sorry, Goose, but if you attract those droids to our transport, you could set off the lithium isotopes. Why bother? They're coming right at us. That tears it. I'm on my way. Gooseman! I'm giving you an order, Ranger. Be careful. the drives. Sequence loaded and primed, Goose. Open bay doors. Elma, lock in target. I'll handle it, thanks. Eat nice shooting, fella. Wildfire Carson, I presume. None other. Shall we take care of this nuisance? Why, I'd be much obliged. Elma, do it. My pleasure, Goose. Doc, what have you come up with on Carson? Cody Wildfire Carson. He's wanted for just about everything you can think of, including over 200 docking, port, and custom violations. But who would send Imperial Death Droids after him? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Goose is bringing him in now. Well, well, as I live and breathe, Zachary Fox. Oh, the last time I saw you, you were still at the Academy waiting to get your wings. I heard tell you went and had some bionic modifications since then. Tell me, Zach, old pal, how often do you have to change your oil? You know Wildfire Carson, Zachary? 
Yes, but it was never worth mentioning. By the way, Carson, you're under arrest. Start removing your gear. Right now. Now, Zack, before you start throwing the book at me, you ought to listen to what I have to say. And you'd better veer your ship off 24 degrees to the starboard. Since when do outlaws tell Galaxy Ranger captains how or where to steer their ships? Since you entered this here minefield, Captain Ranger Fox, sir. <laughs> compartments, but our four navigational gyropods are severely damaged. We're as good as beached, Captain. Goose, remove this man's hardware and throw him in the brig. Somebody is going to have to pay dearly for banging up my Galaxy Ranger vessel and putting mines where they don't belong. Doc, what about the lithium isotopes? A few minutes, Captain. I don't think we have a few more minutes. Why is that? Take a look for yourself, Captain. My name is Virgil Garrett, Captain, and I own this patch of space. You and your Galaxy Rangers are trespassing where you ain't wanted. Are you the man responsible for mining this area? I'll make you a little deal. I'll answer one of your questions if you'll answer one of mine. Is Cody Carson aboard your ship? Cause if he is, you'd be right smart to give him to me now, before you force me to get unpleasant. Garrett, you're already unpleasant. The only thing I'll hand over to you is a warrant for your arrest. A few facts, Captain. Your ship is crippled and your deck is done run out of cards. I know you've got Carson, and I want him. You play along like a good little boy scout, and I might consider not turning you into space debris. Think about it, Captain. Why that... Goose, bring Carson back to the bridge. What's that noise? Bad news, Zachary. Our stasis program is rapidly decaying. I'm gonna have to go inside the system and find some way to divert the circuitry. Or we're going to explode within an hour. Do it, Doc. Goose, get Carson here, on the double. Carson's escaped the brig. Captain, I'm trying to track him. Captain, we just lost the gyropods completely. The slightest shift could send us directly into the minefield. But life support systems are unimpaired, and our offensive weaponry is sound. Wrong. In order for me to maintain our isotope stasis fields, I'm going to have to divert weapons and communication circuitry. There's no other way, Captain. Leaving us defenseless in the middle of this gang of cutthroats. That's one way of putting it. Do what you have to, Doc. I found Carson, Captain. He was down here in the hangar doing a waltz with Elma. Dang it, let go of me! You, sir, are a boob. Leaving so soon, Carson? They would have blasted you to quarks if you'd left the ship. And I'd have had that buggy hot-wired if it weren't for that talking female eyeball. It wouldn't have done you any good, Carson, as you can see. Garrett, I knew he'd be along. Brought his gang too, I see. Captain, how nice of you to put Carson on display for me. It'll be a cold day on Sheruti before you get your hands on me, Garrett, you sidewinder. What's it gonna be, Captain? Are you gonna hand over Carson peaceably, or am I gonna have to turn you into subatomic particles? You'll have to give me more time to think about it, Garrett. Fifteen minutes, Captain. And if you haven't got Carson dressed up like a Christmas goose ready for carving, you can say goodbye to Jawbone the hard way. You are causing us a heap of trouble, Wildfire. Carson, what's this all about? Zack, I got me a map that spells out the richest piles of minerals and metals you ever heard of. 
And it's all right here in Jawbone, right under Garrett's nose. When Garrett found out I was filing a claim with the land office, he aimed to steal my map and put a stop to me. Garrett and his boys bushwhacked me, hit me with a tractor beam, and dragged me onto his ship. But I snuck into that rock hopper and skipped out past Garrett's robot guards. They thought they could put a stop to a wildfire with them space mines and a couple of droids. But I reckon I showed them. Well, they sure put a stop to us. Carson, you're making my decision easier all the time. Doc, how are the stasis fields holding up? Fine, Captain, but our weapons and radio are going to be out of commission until we get to Reno 6. Next time those cowborgs request a delivery, I hope it's kiwi fruit. Carson, you got us into this mess. Any idea how to get us out? Well, now that you mention it, Captain, I do have an idea or two. When I escaped Garrett's ship, I wrote down the access code. If we can get near that rush bucket, I can get us inside. Then all we have to do is get past Garrett's robot guards, and we'll have Garrett on a platter. Goose, when you searched this old bandit, did you find any paper? Just a weapons arsenal large enough to stock a small army, that's all. That's cause I kept it right here, close to my heart. Captain Zachary Rainer Fox, old pally. Goose, grab it! Oh, great. The way I see it, Ranger Fox Cap, if you don't take me along, there ain't gonna be no trip at all. What choice do we have? I say we go, Zachary. I don't see where we have much choice at all. I'll stay here and stall Garrett. You three suit up. What do you mean, three? I'll need you, Doc, to get those space mines deactivated. You might also be able to lend a hand on taking out Garrett's robot defenses. Oh, swell. I reckon I'll be needing my gear, young fella. Standard Ranger gear ought to be good enough for you, I reckon. Sorry, son, but I don't go anywhere without Betsy, my long rifle, and my two six poppers. I'll get them. Say, what was that you were saying earlier about Garrett's robot guards, Carson? Oh, no. Well, he's got your standard Artusian high-flex linebackers. Not more than a dozen or two. A dozen or two? And I can't see you fretting about them half-dozen Series 4 Mad Dog Skull Crushers. Skull Crushers? But, I tell you, there is one of them that does make me a tad nervous. Just a tad, you understand? Don't tell me. What's that, Carson? Well, Garrett went and got himself a one-of-a-kind, giant, black, chrome-plated, hydraulic, blitzkrieg mangler with a terrible temper. Fixed the door, too. Ooh, ooh, I told you not to tell me. Don't sweat it, Doc. If it gets too mean, we'll just feed it Cody. The indigestion will probably kill it. Very funny. Let's go. Captain, we're ready to jump. Good luck, Goose. And take care of Cody. I want him back here in one piece. Ten for and out. Come on, Doc. Like jumping off a log. Yeah, right. You got logs in your head, Goose Man. We'll try these vectors through Garrett's scout ships. Let's move out. Transmission from Garrett, Zachary. Put him on. Captain, I have just about run out of patience with you. I want Cody Carson, and I want him now. Before you start threatening me, Garrett, there's something you ought to know. We're carrying a shipment of lithium-25 isotopes. Your illegal mines have already caused us to jury-rig the stasis chamber. If you actually do decide to fire upon us, the explosion will be so enormous that there will be nothing left of us Jawbone, your men, or you? You're bluffing. I never bluff. Not only that, Garrett, I've transmitted my coordinates to Beta, along with a transcript of your threats. If you should destroy us without destroying yourself, 
You'll be the most wanted man in the galaxy. I can't understand why you'd go stick your neck out for that bag of beans, Carson. Cody Carson is under the protective custody of the Galaxy Rangers, Garrett. I wouldn't expect you to understand what that means, but I would do the same for Cody or anybody else that comes under my protection, even you. Real nice of you to say it, Captain, but I'm giving you one last warning. If I don't have Carson in five minutes, those words will be your epitaph. So far, so good. How about coming up with the access code now, Cody? Well, I'd like to, but come to think of it, I never did have no access code to begin with. Then how do you expect us to get in there? Same way I got out, like this. You think Garrett hurt that? Well, if he didn't, his robot sure did. He could have been a contender. The bridge is up in that direction. You two head up that way while I cover you and draw the robot fire down to this side. Wait a minute, Cody. You're coming with us. Goose, duck! Cody, beats me. Let's get to the bridge before we get buried alive in this scrap heap. <laughs> oh, Bucky, old pal, I never thought I'd see your old hide again. Uh-oh. Oh, partners. But I'll let you know. I don't know what you think you're up to, Captain, but I think you better say your prayers. Garrett, I wasn't lying about the lithium. Destroy this ship and you'll wipe out Jawbone and yourself. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. <laughs> what? RB, old gal. Great to see you again. Everything chip tape? Yes, we're all set, Cody. And let's ride! Hold it, Garrett. Don't move a muscle. Don't even twitch. It's all over for you, Garrett. Oh, yeah? situation you mean to tell me your communication was out all the time i guess i forgot to tell you but the isotopes were real you almost wiped out this entire quadrant say i don't see carson anywhere where's he gone well i can't say it hasn't been a gas lord house I'll catch up with you boys some other time. Oh, hey, thanks for getting me back to the ship. And if I can ever do you all a favor, why, just yodel for old Wildfire. Just yodel it.